gonna add some salt in there. Yeah, I'm just gonna put everything. I don't have Maggie, so I'm going to use this pepper because I mix I'd mix it with Maggie before. So I'm gonna use that as like just <laughs> wow. I used a lot, like that was too much. I'm going to put all of my spices in there, like cumin, ginger, allspice, gagging, and some Italian seasoning that I have here. So I'm putting that in. So I had had a pinch of every spice that I have, just a pinch. Add some water so that this can cook. And then once it's done, then I'm going to add my egg. So I'm going to go ahead and add my egg and don't mind me with this I'm the kind of person that will scrape the inside of the egg because I don't want to waste the egg in there I don't know like I've always done this so excuse my I'm not wasting this so I've always done this like I'll scrape the inside of it Just so that I don't waste it because you know like people just scratch egg and like there is like a clump of them like hiding on them. Why don't you why don't you care about us? So so you're just gonna stir this until like it's all mixed. It's all mixed and yeah at this time you can start adding more oil to cook your egg because honestly that's what we're doing we're only like frying this egg Now, like, you can give this a taste and, like, add more seasoning if you don't want to. So, for this, I'm going to add more, uh, more salt. Because the, the point of making, eating your egg, frying your egg to eat your rice, is to add a considerable amount of salt. Not too salty, but enough that you can taste because that will bring out the aroma of your cooking watch like egg is very delicate so watch how much salt you put in your egg when you're doing this okay i think this this is awesome now Good, thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. You're not Sonic. <laughs> you don't move fast. Thank you. 
if you hear any noise upstairs like people are getting ready to eat like i am getting ready to eat my iftar yeah it's a <laughs> iftar like honestly i always mix this up is it iftar or is it suhoor like i'll say oh i'm getting ready for my suhoor when it's actually iftar but yes this is my food it's actually very healthy mm -hmm. how i came to know about this was like my i went to my friend friend's house one day and it was when i was at my madrasa <laughs> like you so and she lives so close to the madrasa so every time like at lunch she would just go to her house and eat so she invited me that day or as she yeah she invited me that day and then we went it was when when me and her were become very close friends and yeah yeah we became very good friends. and this friend of mine she is an absolute genius like she's absolute she's very smart like you know when you if you're like an engineering kid you know when you go to end of year party or award night if they are calling <laughs> the like the award committee will call this girl hundred times to come and get like best in chemistry best in biology best in english best in islamic studies best in arabic studies best in yoruba best in the best in that this girl will be like and then when she's going it's like she had just went to bookstore to collect some um so sell some sets like a pile of hours, like piles, piles and piles of hours. So this girl is very smart. Like so smart. Genius. Like sometimes I wish that for how for how many friends I have and like how how much smart and potential that I see in them. And then I look at my country in Nigeria and I was like, oh, why are you doing people this way? I mean, alhamdulillah, like people are in better places even today there. But you know, when you just know that people could have, if given chances, people would do like very excellent. Like this girl is excellent. But anyway, she invited me to her house and she, I guess her mother wasn't home that day. So she just bring out what her mother had prepared for her for lunch. And she like, and I had some with her, and they're like, wow, this is really good. And I was like, how do you manage? Like, you just rice and like egg, and it was so delicious. And ever since then, even though I can't get the actual, you know, the actual dish, like uh, how much like she has used, but I uh, like thinking about it, I could kind of like reference how what they had used. Like, I know I tasted salt, it's egg and rice, so. I always make sometimes when I don't have that much like or when I'm actually craving for this dish I always make it so it's literally it's this it should look this plain it's just egg main ingredient is egg and rice it tastes so good like right now I'm going to eat this for iftar I'm going to eat this for suhoor as well, like, because I can't finish this. It's, it's actually quite a big box, so I can't finish it. If I finish it, then I'm, I'm, then it must be that I'm very hungry, or I'm just going to be greedy. So I'm going to eat this for iftar as well. I'm going to eat this for suhoor as well. See, that's what I meant. Like, I'm, I always like mix them together. <laughs> during suhoor, I say if child, during if child, if you say suhoor. So, yeah. Ebamiri. Ebamiri. If you know what that means. Say eba miru, eba miru.
I don't know if you if you guys know of this kind of people that when they are eating when they are eating food and they see like people beside them and they know that, that those people are going to come and eat their food or say like oh let me help you let me help you <laughs> some people are react to God, let me help you hmm don't help me I had this story one time it was actually for my sister her classmates because she knows the people in her class so this girl she now saliva she now spit her saliva inside her food so that nobody will come to her and be like yes let me help you but without any further ado thank you for watching and i hope you are enjoying the ramadan as much as i am and that's my lips they all dry so So I was just going to sit down and like read some Quran before I go back to bed or do anything else. But then it's already 421 and it's Fajr. So you know because I because I just finished eating like a spicy food, I'd heard somewhere that if you eat anything spicy say that you have your wudu and like your wudu is still valid and everything because right now my i would think that my i think that my wudu is still valid so i can just go ahead and pray fajr so but then i heard somewhere that if you eat anything spicy like after wudu and then your wudu is valid and then you eat something spicy then your wudu broke has broken because you eat spicy food. I don't know. Like, I've heard it's like, you know, you're always hearing something here, something there. And you don't know which one is right or anything like that. So I want to check. I don't know. Like, online is a bad um, reference. Because I'm just checking online and I like, see what they say online. Here. But... But, you know, I've always... I've always just kind of, like go with the first opinion that I heard that if you eat spicy food then your your wudu is no more valid. So I've always gone with the first opinion that I heard. So right now I'm going to have to do my wudu again because even I don't Well, I didn't even know that this thing is because I was only I was just like um looking for any references that says spicy food break would do. But I didn't see anything. Like all I saw on here was like the scooped food break would do. I didn't see anything about spiciness of food. So for that reason well you know I <laughs> I mean, Allah Alam, you can't really say, you can honestly, like, in everything, like, you can't really say, like, what is what, who is right, and everything. Then you only do your best. So, 
I have always, I mean, like, I've always redo my, redo my, um, redo if I eat spicy food. Like, if I, I know that I'm going to pray, I either, like, um, not eat my spicy food, and then eat it after I finish praying. But right now, I'm still going to just go along with what I've always, what I've always known, like, which is just like remaking your voodoo. I mean, if tomorrow and I found somebody else or like an authentic adip or something from a scholar or something, other scholars or adip or I don't know, opinions that says, oh, you don't have to do that, then I guess I might have to regroup and change. But for now, I am going to go ahead and do my redo, pray for Jerry, and may Allah, may Allah accept. So, may Allah accept all that we do in this Ramadan and um, accept all our acts, all our kindness, all our ibadah. Yeah. My hands is my hands are dry. Like they are literally dry. <laughs> So today is the 17th, yeah, today is the 17th, and so today is the exactly half Ramadan, like we fasted 15, 15 days already, so 15 days gone, 15 more to come, and right now I'm at, I'm at Surat al Dariyat, which is the Quran 51, so I'm going to read that, yeah, I'm going to finish that now, then I'll go sleep. Well, it's, um, yeah, I'll read that and then I'll go sleep and then I will come. Yeah, it's still 4.30 a.m. I'm done. Another. This is the fifteenth Ramadan that we are fasting. So, salam alaikum and. Yep. <laughs> Thank you.